Oh, no. There are a lot of ways how to end up with a broken fishing rod. Almost everyone has a broken fishing rod from time to time. Obviously, how to break a fishing rod can be easy. Some things to never do are slam a fishing pole in a car door or tailgate or try to stop a ceiling fan with a fishing rod or force it through a doorway that's too small. Those are all accidents that should be avoided to prevent an epic fail. Even the best fishing rods can break in those situations. If transportation or fishing rod storage is an issue, you may want to consider two-piece fishing poles such as the Cast King Perigee, Cast King Resolute, or Cast King Crixus fishing rods. They are all designed to perform and feel like a one-piece rod anyway, so there's no downside. Use rod sleeves and proper fishing rod storage to protect your fishing rod blanks from incidental nicks that can lead to trouble later. I'll explain why in a moment. True, some fishing rods can have manufacturer's defects and those rod failure issues typically show up the first time the rod is used or even as soon as it's out of the box. By the nature of the telltale signs and the break on a fishing rod, Fishing rod technicians and warranty specialists can quickly determine if a break was from abuse, mishandling, or a factory defect. Oh. Sometimes we may break fishing rods and the break seems to just happen. In graphite or carbon fishing rods, strong as they are, they can be brittle. Fiberglass fishing rods or composite graphite fiberglass rods tend to be more forgiving of abuse. A stress concentration, often called stress razors or stress risers, is a location in an object where stress is concentrated. Fatigue cracks always start at stress razors, so removing such defects increases the fatigue strength. Banging a rod against a gunnel may seem harmless, but it can cause stress razors that rearrange molecules within your fishing rod blank that leads to failure later. Remember, I told you why I was gonna explain that. The harder the gunnel or surface, the more the problem is likely and sooner to occur. Stress razors can also form from allowing your fishing rods to roll around in an unpadded pickup truck bed or rod racks with sharp edges or hard surfaces. That epic fail can happen to your fishing rod more quickly if you practice one of these deadly sins of fishing rod treatment. Bending your fishing rod against the spine. That would be the same or opposite side of where the fishing line guides are placed depending whether it's a casting or spinning rod. On a spinning rod, that's away from the line guides. On a bait casting rod, it's toward the line guides. Rods are built to bend in one direction, and one direction only. High sticking. As the name implies, high sticking is the practice of holding your fishing rod straight up when landing a fish and putting all of the weight load on the fishing rod tip. The bigger the fish, the bigger the chance that you're going to break your rod. To prevent rod damage from high sticking, use a fishing net or grab the leader line by hand for landing or boating your fish to prevent rod breakage from high sticking. Boat flipping. Sure, we've all seen Major League Fishing Bass Pros and Bassmaster Elite Bass Fishing Tournament Anglers lift fish up out of the water and flip it on board without using a net or hand landing the fish. Even the most powerful nano resin graphite fishing rods can snap like a twig if a large fish is boat flipped. 
It's fun to watch the Bass Pros boat flipping fish, but keep in mind, at that level of tournament fishing, the fishing pros most often get their rods and angling gear for free or at a big discount from their sponsor. Oh my god, I got two! I got two! Take care of your fishing poles and they can last you a lifetime. If you don't, it may end your fishing trip early and void your manufacturer's warranty. Remember, use fishing rod sleeves for protection, proper rod storage racks, and treat your fishing poles with respect, and never practice the deadly signs of fishing rod handling.